Hey everyone, this is Glia Bachmann of showing another example from my Cypress examples demo repo. And this case was asked by one of the users where said, okay, if I have a button and inside you have a button's own text save item, but you can also have a child element like status and that shows done. You can see the own text and the children element button. How do I confirm the text? Of a button itself without taking into account the text of children element. Done. If you use include text, you can subscribe just the own text, but you probably want to confirm entire own text, right? So not just count a part of a button. If you use have text assertion, in that case, you have to provide the whole combination uh, of all strings, including the white space is really really unwieldy you could write something like this where you use a shrewd callback you get in a jquery element and from jquery element you get the first dom element and you get the inner text property it's slightly better because now concatenates all the own text items streams them and so you can just say should equal to save item done but it still counts in children element. So how do we only take into account elements on text? It's not too difficult. Here's what we can do. If you open the browser and you look at a button, button element, I can say, okay, font size, take the button and look at the child node. And you will see that in reality the button has three nodes, not just its own text, and a child element, but has a text, which is save item, and the child element span status, and then some white space around things. We can inspect each node list element. You can see the type and the value. And so what we can do is do everything ourselves. Let's see how it looks practice. So I'll get a button, ready save, and I'll say should, and as always, I'm getting a jQuery element from Cypress. I can get the first DOM element child node. Now I'm interested in only the text node. So I can use Cypress slow dash filter method where I can pass this list, and all I'm interested in are the elements node type property of node node. Uh, text node is a global, okay? And what do I get back? I get on text. Okay, so we're getting a list of nodes, only I wrote this correctly. And after filter, we get an array, so we can immediately take each text node and map it. And the text nodes have text content property. We can trim, so with we don't get the white space. Okay, let's print on text for now. Open the dev tools. We have an array with save item and empty text. So that means we can also filter. And using filter boolean, you remove all the empty strings. And just to finish this, you better join the text with a space. Okay, now we get the on text computed from the element and we expect on text to equal only save item. So this is how you confirm the on text and the element without taking any children elements to account. 